Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool a Week, guys. So last week we went ahead and added the basin wrench. What is it that we're going to need next? Well, in my opinion, uh, if you're going to be doing no hub bands, clamp balls, or maybe some husky bands, uh, you're going to need special tools because they do require a certain amount of torquing per inch. So the first one's going to be that we're going to be adding, it's going to be the rigid 3141090 torque wrench now this is going to be a t-shaped handle it's it's pres preset to eliminate the guesswork in no hub soil pipe installation now if you're not aware of no hub bands uh, this is going to be your standard no hub bands and it's going to be required 60 pounds or 60 inches of torque so with that being said, it ensures a proper coupling tightness for strong leak-free joints. Now it is going to be a 516 inch driver tines with fast ratchet action until the wrench clicks accurate 60 inches, 60 inches of torque. So if you can, I already had tightened it up a little bit. So we're going to go tighten it up as it ratchets and whenever you hear the click go off, there you go you have the proper amount of torque for it so they are set at 60 pounds like I said and on Amazon you're gonna find this baby for $41.97 or at Home Depot you're also gonna find it for $41.97 now let's say you're doing a clamp ball which on this side it's gonna be a clamp ball it's gonna be all stainless steel right there this is obviously a two inch now if you can look at the letters right there uh, let me catch a little better if you can read it right there, it's going to be 125 inches of torque. So what is it that we're going to need besides that? So if you're going to be doing clamp balls, of course you're going to need a clamp ball tool right here. Uh, I had just bought mine. I have another one, but this one's brand new. And it comes with a set of warranty right here. So warranties, paperwork, of course, it's always important. And... This is going to be the tool right here. This is going to be the clamp on 99197 and it's going to be L shape right here. Now I couldn't find it at Amazon uh, as far as online you'll be able to find it for different prices which vary from that's going to be varies from $120 to $190 depending on where you're at. If not go to your closest supply house that's a clamp bar rep and they'll be able to give you this baby so if you are, happen to run into it these babies are pricey they are amazing tools and they're the specs required for clamp ball now of course one side you're gonna have a ratcheting right here and the other sides for loosening or tightening the clamp ball it's also gonna be a 5 16 so let's go ahead this was gonna be a quick tightening right there and then if we pull it off you're gonna put it on the torque side so once it reach 125 pounds, you'll also hear a click on it. So there we go. You got your 125 pounds to assure you from a leak-free joint. So that's gonna be the requirements for clamp ball. Now there is one more, which is gonna be the husky bands. Now the husky bands are gonna require 80 pounds of torquing inch. So it's also going to have four bands, but what is it that I'm going to go with? Um, I could have gotten another rigid torque tee, but it wasn't, you know, I really don't use Huskies that much. I most of the time use clamp balls, but I did find this pretty neat tool that I fell in love with. And I'm sure you will if you're doing no hub bands, couplings, Huskies, whatever it is. I went ahead and picked up the Milwaukee 2455 dash 20 m12 no hub coupling drive now i did pick it up just a bare tool so this is just a bare tool as you can tell it is a regular drill but the neat thing about this it's three features uh the first one's going to be your regular zero to 750 750 rpms drill mode for general drilling or fastening now after that you're going to get into specifics if you could see i'm going to turn it right there at this point you're going to hit 80 pounds that it's going to be set for the torque and from there on it's going to be the 60 pounds right there for the no hub bands so instead of having to use your torque t or going from your impact to your torque t uh all you have to do is just keep drilling this baby so 
Uh, it's really neat. It's gonna be auto shut off too, and it has a power indicator as soon as you turn it on. Batteries right here, LED lights in the front, as you can tell. And also it's gonna be the quick connect. So right now I have my 516's drill bit connected to it. And in the back, as you could see real quick, in the back up here, let me zoom in, you're gonna have 60 and 80. Now this is gonna be an LED that lights up as soon as you've hit the torque requirements. Now if you hit it, if you see the LEDs lighting up multiple times, it's gonna be time for calibration, which you've already done 25 thousand cycles of using it so it's time to take it to milwaukee to get it recalibrated so of course you're gonna have your regular drill let me show y'all real quick so i'm gonna undrill this baby and then after that i'm gonna set it to 60 pounds and that way you can see the led light up if y'all saw the led there you go it lights up as soon as it reaches the specs so if we go ahead and try our torque t right there our torque tees also already tying up. So that's gonna be it for that. And like I said, it works on Huskies for the 80 pounds. I would highly recommend going with the drill because one, you're gonna be doing it a lot much faster and you're gonna enjoy it. It's a great tool for any plumber, pipe fitters, or whoever handyman, whoever's laying no hub pipe or Huskies. This is gonna be amazing. Now, of course, like I said, Clampaw has its own torque tee. I haven't seen anything yet, but highly recommend them guys so with that being said these are going to be the tools that we go ahead and add on our tool bag this one i'm going to add on my power tool set amazing tools now the milwaukee you're going to be able to find it for 200 dollars at amazon and home depot and then on amazon you'll be able to find the kit battery and charger for three eight three hundred eighteen dollars and 38 cents home depot did not have it online so depending on what home depot you go to and that's gonna conclude our video guys thanks for watching one tool a week guy without any further ado also guys i we still have the 500 gold to hit that way i could give away that gator back tool belt um and also once we hit 1000 we'll be giving away a veto pro pack so make sure you subscribe guys any other questions or any tools you'd like to see let me know and make sure you leave me comments as far as where you're from and what kind of trades you do i appreciate it guys thanks for watching one tool a week guy stay tuned for next week